Hello dear students we are doing chapter 4 fractional numbers dear students our today's topic is equivalent fractions let's start dear students let's meet deepak and his friends deepak and his friends went for a picnic they brought so many eatables with them Deepak also brought pizzas for everyone. Dear students, Deepak gave one pizza to all of them. Now each of them has one full pizza. Yashnur cut his pizza into two equal slices. Anurit cut her pizza into four equal slices and deepak cut it into six equal slices and dipi cut it into eight equal slices yashnu ate one part out of two equal parts of his pizza he ate one upon two parts of it and anurit ate two parts out of four equal parts of her pizza she ate yes two upon four parts of pizza and the packet three parts out of six equal parts of pizza he ate three upon yes three upon six parts of pizza and dp ate four parts out of eight equal parts of pizza she ate four upon eight parts of pizza in this way dear students we saw that each of them have divided the pizza into different slices and also ate different parts of the pizza even though they have eaten same part of the pizza so dear students the different fractions which describe the same part of the whole are known as equivalent fractions so 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 4 and 2 upon 4 is equal to 3 upon 6 dear students similarly 3 upon 6 is equal to 4 upon 8 so dear students these fractions are equivalent fractions dear students in this way we have learned that different fractions that describe the same or equal part of the whole are known as equivalent fractions Dear students now each of them has one drawing sheet the teacher asked them to divide their sheets into different equal parts according to their choice dear students let's see who will divide sheet into how many parts yashnu divided it into two equal parts anruit divided it into four equal parts deepak divided it into six equal parts and dp divided it into eight equal parts dear students now their teacher asked them to color their drawing sheets according to their choice they have to color different parts of the drawing sheets so let's see who will color how many parts of the drawing sheet yashnur colored one part out of two equal parts means he has colored one upon two part of the sheet and dear students anurit has colored two parts out of four equal parts she has colored two upon four parts of the sheet and deepak has colored three parts out of six parts it means he has colored three upon six part of the sheet and dipi colored four parts out of eight equal parts she has colored four upon eight parts of the sheet so dear students they divided their sheet into different equal parts and they have colored different parts of the sheet even though the colored portion of the sheets are the same so dear students in this way these fractions are different but they are describing the same part of the whole So dear students in this way 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 3 upon 6 is equal to 4 upon 8 these are equivalent fractions 
because these different fractions describe the same part of the whole. So in this way dear students today we have learned about equivalent fractions with the help of two different examples. Now it's time for past preparation. Dear students, find the fraction of the colored part of the image. Option A is 3 upon 2. Option B, 2 upon 2. Option C, 3 upon 3. And option D is 3 upon 6. Dear students, the image has total 6 parts. Out of these 6 parts, 3 parts are colored. So, dear students, the fraction of the colored part is colored part upon total part, which means 3 upon 6. So, our answer is option D. Dear students, now it's time for homework. Dear students, at your home, do practice of equivalent fractions with the help of different type of shapes. Keep learning, keep growing. Thank you.